that money and launch a campaign to make the public schools better? Are they going to use any of that money and launch a campaign to transform the criminal justice code? Are they going to use any of that book sale money to launch a campaign to fight back against gentrification? Are they going to use any of that money to do something about police genocide? Or are they going to use any of that money to do anything about economic castration of black men and women? They're not going to use a penny of it. And I don't even blame them, I blame you. I'm not interested in black faces, I need black power. And we keep on confusing black power with black faces. Right. How can they have any power if they belong to a white political party? I don't vote for Negroes no more. I had a Negro come up to me the other day. Doc, do I got your vote? Are you independent? No, I'm a Democrat, I can't vote for you. Because you can't do what you want to do. You can't serve your community the way we need to be saved because you with a white team. And before you do anything for us, you got to get approval from the white team, brother. I can't vote for you. Well, damn, doc, I mean, don't I got to get in first? No. I don't want to hear no more spook who sat by the door talk. Because you Negroes sit by the door and you become a coon by the door. I can't remember the last time we sent the black person into a position of power and they actually came out with some resources. <laughs> When's the last time you sent the Negro amongst white folks and they came back with some solutions? They don't. Because people don't change institutions. Institutions change people. I said, brother, do you have a plan to make